Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with another set of Sherlock Holmes, Nemesis. Let's check on the director. What do you want, Mr. Holmes? Thank you, gentlemen. Good. Just want to see if there's anything else left to say. Come on. In the somber corner. This one actually has me thrown a bit. So I don't imagine you mean actual corner. Turns out I didn't need to restore the entire thing. But oh well. Okay, so we found it here. In a somber corner under a white cloth, to ensure success, look for red. It will not be inside, but be not wroth. It's not impossible if you use your head. So the only thing red I can think of would be this square here. And there, in a somber corner. The supper at Emmaus, where the resurrected Jesus appears to his disciples. Painted by Caravaggio, 1571-1610, he was a master of chiaroscuro, and the Caravaggioism movement was named after him. Closed. This painting depicts the gods Venus and Mars. What horrors! A study by Tiepolo. The Trojans bring the Greek horse in. What horrors! Look for red. A painting by Veronese, the family of Darius before a Saint Catherine of Alexandria. St. Catherine of Alexandria, painted by Carlo Crivelli, bought as part of the Prince Anatole Demidoff collection in 1868. Look for red, look for red. Don't quite know at all. Okay, it has to be in one of the galleries here. What horrors? What horrors? What horrors? Under a white cloth. It's a pointer, the museum director who is on display here. Amusing. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. A work by Jan Steen, painter of the Dutch school, a moralist. What horrors! A painting by Rembrandt, the sum of his works inspired Baudelaire to write Rembrandt's sad hospital full of murmurs. Unless it's that dark room. So I don't quite know. The somber corner. It's too dark in here. I don't see anything. I'm in need of a lamp. Oh, God. Do you guys need... Do you guys still need that lamp? Because... Can I borrow this lamp? Yes, we are almost finished. Isn't that right, Palinor? Yes. Okay. Thank God. Palinor, anything? Mm -mm, let's not step on the painting. I'm overwhelmed by this... Same thing as usual, okay. Nothing new, Palinor. Come on. This bucket contains something extremely heavy. I can't move it. A bucket with a red perimeter. Not bad. Okay. Hmm, there is something here. Under a bouquet of lilies fair, the director is sleeping there. Younger but quarter of an hour, you shall receive the power. Younger but by younger by a quarter of an hour, you shall receive the power. Okay, well, I know what he's talking about. You know, do we need to bring this back? I guess so. 
Okay, where is the one of the director? Right here. It's a pointer, the museum director who is on display here. Amusing. Your great uncle Horace had a grandfather. Your great uncle Horace had a grandfather. Both did proud the name Vernet. The clue will lead you to a race on the Tibbert side. On the race on the Tibbert side, which painting it is, and don't sway. What? Your great uncle Horace had a grandfather. Both did proud the name Vernet. The clue will lead you to a race on the Tibber, the side of which painting it is, and don't sway. Out of curiosity, what have the C? Okay, so C O C O R O N Coron. C O R N. Okay. Um, where is the painting that apparently his grandfather did? I can't remember. Wasn't that Saint Catherine of Alexandria by Antonio de Solario? Adoration of the Kings by Botticelli, bought by the National that. Gallery in 1878. Okay. <laughs> A work by David Teniers, the younger. Peace and War, Rubens, the old master. Painting Portrait of a Man, canvas loan to the museum, work of an unknown. A family group by Gonzalez Cox. Okay, for a while I couldn't run there. A coast scene, Jean van der Capelle. A river scene with a Dutch yacht by van der Capelle. An architectural fantasy. A painting by Rembrandt, the sum of self-portrait at the age of 63. Not that. Ah, Thomas Gainsborough, one of the most famous English portrait and landscape painters. A canvas by Nicolas Poussin that tells of the The Scale of Love by Jean Antoine Perfect Harmony by Jean Antoine Watteau. Monsieur de Norvin's portrait by Jean Auguste. A beautiful landscape by Boucher, Francoise. A portrait, Madame Moitessier, by Ingrid. The Triumph of Pan by Nicolas Poussin. Oh, here's what I've been looking for. A canvas by Joseph Vernet, my great great uncle. Why, these two paintings appear identical. Okay, well, this doesn't really. So we are going to suppose I count. This is almost going to be a Where's Waldo type thing, isn't it? Okay. Oh. So this corner, no. Ah, here goes. Ah, Lupin seems to be setting the example. I am in need of a lamp. Well, we have that. Oh, come on. Put this down. Pick up. Got a lamp. Okay, wow, you just, you didn't even take it to, there are other paintings right beside everything. <laughs> I will recopy all of that to better study it. Nine paintings with so much in common. Theme and colors, uh, brown, red, green, yellow, and blue. Put the colors face to face, help them to align, and the last letter found will give you a clue. Nine paintings with so much in common, themes and colors, brown, green, 
Is this, because I noticed there were those paintings that I, I said, <laughs> why are they s s the same? Red, green, I'm just writing down the color so I don't have to keep going back to this note. Put the colors face to face, help them to align, and the last letter found will give you a clue. Okay. This must be one of the nine canvases. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. You're literally just going to say the without. same thing over and over and over again. Um, here we go. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. Then let's go to this room. Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. What horrors? What horrors? Okay, not that one. Um, was that everything? Oops. Ah, ah, ah. Did I go through this room already? Hmm, they're hanging art made by three-year-olds. We could probably do without. I have all nine paintings now, I think. Think. Oh, okay. No. Oh, they can turn around. That's going to be interesting. There we go. Not that. Mm, no, close, but no cigar. Okay, this looks like that, for sure. It looks like, but at the same time, that red's that red. Wait, this one has an edge to it, it looks like. That looks right. Okay. Okay, so 
I got it. I got, well... I uh, need to... They don't click on each other, if that's the thing. Because I don't know which way is up and which way is down. Oh, that almost looks like it could fit. Think. Okay, but that's not it. It's a. See, that looks like it fits. like close but no cigar See, this looks right to me. I just... Q-U-A-S... I'm literally doing just the same thing, just turning the rotations around. But if this is not it, then what am I doing wrong? Okay, either way, I'm going to have to end the set here. So thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys, see ya!